Welcome back to Bedrock. Despite a slow start, you know, since we had to dig a giant hole in the ground, I'd say we're doing quite well. We've read 86 magazines and we have a decent tunnel to live in, out of sight and out of mind from the zombies lurking above. But today we have some catching up to do. So the plan is to finish the tier one quests for Trader Gen, get ourselves a bicycle, set up a dew collector, and get some sort of defensible position set up within the base. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze. So let's begin. So what do you think of this place here? We got so much work to do. We got to turn this hobbit hole into a dwarf fortress. But we have plenty of time to do that in. There's really no rush. So last night I was working on crafting some aloe, some bandages, turn those into first aid bandages. I'm repairing up the quality five scrap helmet and we'll sell off that padded helmet once it's fully repaired. What I wanted to look into this morning was making a pipe shotgun before we head out. And that's going to take glue, iron pipes, and wood. Well, I have the glue. I do not have the iron pipes. I do also have... I'll have a little bit of extra, so I'll use the uh, the leftovers there to make some padded armor. Quality 5 scrap helmet on. Helmet light is on. This is the cell chest right here, so we can just sell that off. I'll swap out the first aid kit for the first aid bandages so that I can carry more of them. I did craft up a couple of iron arrows with some arrowheads that I had, and the last thing is going to be padded armor. So we have a helmet right now, and I think we also have gloves. We could use a chest piece and some legs. Okay, and with my... Just the random light armor magazines or the armor magazines that I found, I can now do a quality two. Not too bad. So what would we say? Chest and legs. So that will afford me about five, about uh, 11, I guess, extra armor rating, which means 11% less damage. Kind of a no-brainer. I... Jeez, we look so bad. We'll get there. And what I'll do is I'll bring the glue with me along with the pipes. We'll just harvest up some pipes out there today. Bring the shotgun rounds with me. And uh, we'll have the pipe shotgun there in no time. All right. Just had some breakfast. Let's head topside. Oh, I immediately triggered a zombie somewhere here. Who do we got? Oh, a couple nurses. They must have just gotten off third shift. Okay. So this morning we already have a quest. It's straight over there. Let's head over there, get that done. And then by the time we're finished, we'll be able to turn it into Trader Gen. All right. I'll meet you over there. The Wet's Residence. This place again, man, this is like, it's like a rite of passage. If you're friggin' starting out a playthrough, you've gotta clear out the Wet's Residence at least once. Okay, anyway, let's check the mail first. That and that one over there, that farm. I feel like I've done these two POIs like a hundred times at this point. Well, okay, what do we got here? Machine gunner book, right, I've already read, so I'll sell that one. And let's just double loot that mailbox, do that trick again. Yeah, I really like that these mailboxes contain anything now. There's a Ranger's Guide to Archery for Steel Arrows and Bolts. Guess I'll read that. Yeah, because it used to be needle and thread, spear books, and ranger's guide to archery books, but now it's all books. Oh, wait a minute. Is this place different? Oh, it's, it is it is totally different. Yeah, because usually you have the two cabinets there with zombies. That door is new. Oh, okay. I like this then. I like this. Get to re-explore all my favorite POIs, right? And there we go. Morning skill point. What are we looking at here? I was thinking... Maybe we should put one into Boomstick so that we can start collecting up those shotgun magazines a little bit more quickly. And uh, now that I said that, we're in the kitchen. Oh, crawler. I forgot my arrows again. Oh, geez. I'm such a dummy. How do you like the jiggle bits on this guy? Ugh. Right, should be able to get some pipes out of this and that'll give us the pipe shotgun, right? There it is, pipe shotgun quality three. Do it up. Wow, really nothing at all in here yet. See if I can get some breakfast at least. Holy cow, a hobo stew. Gotta save that though, that's excellent first aid, so I don't want to use that unless I absolutely have to. Okay, so this is just like all open concept now, I see, and this is just the same old bathroom here. I'll never forget this bathroom because in this bathroom, when I played my first Darkness Falls playthrough, I found a turd in the toilet and I was totally grossed out by it. Ooh, what is, that's awesome, I love that. I was wondering because there's a whole bunch of paintings with pets on them. I was uh, hoping that maybe the fun pimps put their own pets in there, just kind of a way to remember them. I know as my dogs get older, I, um, you know, I, I look for more and more ways to remember them, you know. Okay, look at that. I just pulled out chest armor and leg armor. <laughs> Jesus. Of course I did. Here, we can put this press boy cap on because that's going to improve our look so much. All right, what else we got in here now? Yep, going up to the attic, kind of same as before there. Okay, we're all searched up, heading topside. Now, what's going on up here? Stripper, Are you, is that it? Oh, jeez. 
This is awkward. Oh my god, even more awkward. Get away from me. Oh my goodness, that's just so satisfying. I love it. Who else we got here? Janitor man. This guy's a killer. He, he killed me in my last series. And um, yeah, that was it. Clear area complete. Just check that out for some cowboy boots. Good for selling. And this drops us, oh, right down to the beginning. Wow, that's cool. I really like it when there's like a linear layout that, um, you know, pulls you around full circle. Okay, overall, nothing exciting in the loot there. Let's see if Trader Gen has anything more important for us. And uh, one last thing I wanted to do before I leave. All right. This house has been thicked. I really like that they've added that to the game. Really good stuff. All right, I'll meet you over at the trader. Jennifer, wake your ass up. Got the best. Congratulations. All right, what do we get here? Pipe bombs. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go now. pipe bombs for this one. That's, you know, gotta help probably on Horde Night. And a new job for a little bit later today. How about clear zombies northwest? What would me, that be? I Abandoned will. shanty shed farms. Never. Is that I'll the one I was just talking about? That I I, yes, it is. It's the one that I was like, I've done that a hundred times. Well. I'd like to poke my head in there anyway and see how it's changed. Anything good in here today? Five Mega Crushes, Learned Elixir, Black Trap Coffee. I love that they've put these sort of rare drink items in here so you can stock up on them when you want to. Uh, in terms of money though, I'm kind of saving up because I want to get the 5,000 Dukes and then I'm going to give my, uh, my inventory a permanent spot for money so that we get that 15 meter safe fall height, which is like we could basically jump out of that tower and not even be affected. Here we are, I finally made it. And it looks like we got a whole bunch of company here. Four zombies. I had my arrows on me the whole time. I just didn't have them properly loaded into the bow here. Just bringing everybody over here. All right, we're good to go here. Oh yeah, looks like a big storm's rolling in too. Okay, let's get inside. Okay, what has changed in here? Well, so far, nothing much. That guy's still there. Okay, what about out here? Because historically, it's really hard to sneak up on these guys. Yep, still is. Who needs sneaking, though? Be quite nice if I could pull a wrench out of here. That's kind of the one thing I'm still hurting for. Hey, look at that cooking magazine. Awesome sauce. Wow, that's a good find. Cause that thing costs like 1500 dukes. I've done the math on it though. If you pay 1500 dukes for the awesome sauce, you then have to make $7,000 back. That's a bow crafting skill magazine in order to break even, you know, like to get back your money and to get into the profit margin range. Oh, what, what is it with these sham sandwiches? Man, I have so many of these all just for antibiotics. Okay, I'm, I'm okay, don't worry. <laughs> just losing my mind a little bit. Killer Joe here. Killer Joe, I kind of like that name for you, because I was thinking about a name for the construction worker, because, you know, construction workers, way too many syllables. I don't know why I haven't named that guy sooner. Uh, we'll call him Bob. Bob the Builder. Ball safe? Nope, not this time. Locked? How dare you? Okay, moving on up here. I guess no one's hiding in here. This place is mostly the same, though, from what I can tell so far. Knife Guy magazine. You know, I think it's probably a good idea to max out all the magazines or at least try to you know because then once you max out a magazine you don't find that magazine anymore it's it's just done it's out of the loot table okay last time i was here i was able to sneak up on, on all you guys <laughs> last time i was here literally like two days ago okay no, it did not work that time though no matter oh watch your step there and i think we're good one more stuck in the bathroom here take that Ooh. Oh, there we go. Nice hunting knife there. That's a good find. So I try not to use the, the meta kind of strength build, but um, it's nice to get back to it, right? Because it's just, it's so strong and satisfying. Another pair of dress shoes. Whoop-de-doo. What do we get in here? Machine gun or pistol peep book? Nothing much. I think that's a better pair of padded uh, gloves, though. It is. What about here? Armor parts. Okay. We're good here? I think we're good. Roll out of here and onto the mattress, which I'll take because I'll need the extra cloth here. Unfortunately, I only have 20, so I can't put a thick flag on the house. But whenever I get enough cloth in a POI, I think I'll just thick it on the way out. Okay, I can't help but notice that there's a cop car over here. There's a couple of cop cars over there by Trader Jens. So I want to see if I can use one of my three lockpicks to break into this and see if anything happens. Hey, I got in first try. 
What do we get here? Oh, some pretty good stuff there. Good amount of ammo. And I guess nothing happens. I think, I don't know for sure. So I've dug around in the game files and there's some stuff in there that has to do with alarms on cars and zombie horde groups that spawn from cars. But um, if I recall correctly, it said 20% chance. So I'm not sure if I've just never seen that happen before because I've been lucky, but um, you know, we'll keep trying it and maybe someday we'll get ambushed. All right, Here's what are we getting this time? I'm well very, done. oh, I was gonna say, I'm very tempted to take the crafting skill magazine thing. And I think I still am just because I really want workstation skill magazine so we can get the forge. Let's roll the dice on this one and see what we get. I don't think I need 60 shotgun rounds right now anyway. And we'll get a new job for a little bit later. Okay, I don't want to go a click away for sure. We can do the clear I've zombies to the problem. east at the pass and gas store. Yeah. Good Thanks, opportunity huh? to perhaps get a wrench and or workstation skill magazine, vehicle skill magazines, maybe. I don't know. And I did just level up. Okay, lock picking. That's another possibility because if I go to the workstations, okay, advanced engineering and or lock picking. So I could take a point into lock picking and just up my chances that little bit for getting workstation magazines. It just makes me slightly better at lock picking as well. Seems like an awfully poor investment though. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do Miner 69er instead. That'll help me with mining tonight and uh, influence my ability to get better tools. Okay, I'm really heavy right now. Gotta go back to base and then we'll head over there. I'll meet you at the quest. Oh, geez. Wow, what a close call that was. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. No, 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 stop the bleeding. Oh, a bird! Quickly, take the bird out. Okay, I've sprained an arm, I think. Holy crap, this is bad. Help me! Okay, I think I'm good here. Wow. I got ambushed by a boar in the field there on the way over. Oh, jeez, okay. Help me, help me, help me. Jeez, okay, infected, sprained arm, and concussion. Man, I got tempted in by the corn. Yeah, <laughs> Hunic Family Farms just ambushed the crap out of me. By the way, I opened up that bundle that was for big hitters, that's clubs, get hammered, that's sledgehammers, and knife guy for knives. Okay, wow, I'm at 50% health, just like that, and I've got to wait nine minutes for the sprained arm to go away. Small little ammo pile there for some extra arrows. Yeah, otherwise, man, I don't know... Ah, uh, jeez, it fucking storm rolled in again too, of course. We're in a real rough spot now, put it that way. I guess we could try to clear out the quest. It's only a tier one. We should be able to roll through there. We proceed on. <laughs> Anybody want to go in a cornfield again and look for some more corn? Not me. All right, here we are at the pass and gas. Got to take care of... Oh, it's a freaking feral bow. Get back. Oh, boy. Going to have to risk a power attack. Got him. Okay, what do we get here? Wiring stuff and a tech junkie book. And who's next? Stevie boy. Kamikaze Steve. And a crawler somewhere? Where'd I see you? Right there. Done. What's in here? Steroids. Tempting. That will help me with my sprained arm. At the very least, we can check the vending machine. Nope. Nothing in there. And uh, let's just grab this before I leave. Or before I start the quest. Bird, look out. I see you there. Oh, right straight through him. Are you kidding me? Are you a feral too? Gonna have to risk the power attacks, I guess. How can you still be alive after all this? No. There we go. Spider over there too. Get the drop on him. Done. I didn't get the kill. The cactus got the kill. Son of a... What? What do we got here? Forge ahead. That's a workstation crafting magazine. We're up to four. Damn, we need one more. Okay, we can get that one out of here, I bet. All right, let's get in here. More wiring books, a tech junkie book, electrical traps book. Another Stevie boy. It's another feral Steve too, wow. Why are there so many of you guys around here? No, oh, who's swinging at me? Arlene! Concussion kicking in a little bit. Damn it. Having a real rough time here. I should be able to swing. Holy crap. Yeah, I should be able to get full swings in. There we go, because I got the steroids in me. It's not gonna hurt me anymore. Wow, jeez, this is tough. Keeping things exciting though, at least. Nice and slow, kind of harvest up the materials as I go. Wait for my sprained arm to heal. My arm sprain is officially now healed. Good. Okay, we're going to the rooftop now. Hello? Just, just on the lookout for birds and dogs, really. Okay, I can see them on the compass. 
Let's just do this nice and carefully. Nurse, Tommy boy, and that guy. Done. Wow, what a friggin' adventure this has been. What is that? Oh, that's a broken, a broken campfire, as if. Okay, bookstore box here, vehicles, and armored up. Okay, that actually gave me bicycles and wheels. I'll still take the bicycle, though, from the quest reward, although maybe it's something worth looking into. That was a burning shaft mod. Herbal antibiotics saved by the loot again. Main loot chest here. Ooh, nice padded leg armor. I want... Are you kidding me? Okay, I got extinguished quite quickly. How did... Are you... That caught me on fire? Are you kidding me? Ah, concussion. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun yet? A couple of tool magazines there. And that just about does it. That dehydrated the crap out of me, though, being on fire like that. Okay, I guess we're heading back to get our quest reward, and I don't know that I'm gonna do another quest tonight. It's getting real late. You don't look so good. Yeah, I don't feel don't so good either. Yeah, you. this time I'm definitely gonna go with the crafting skill magazine bundle, and I guess I'll just take a job for tomorrow. I'm not sure if I grab you this like quest. You handle yourself. Passing gas number Wanna four. That coin? can't be the same one I just did, is Hurry it? Back soon. The one I'll I just did nice was do. No, that's way up there. Okay, good. Okay, is that is that downtown, do you think? It doesn't look like it. That's gonna be an outskirt town. Thank goodness. By the way, I was hoping you had a sugar butt candy because I'm ready to do a sell-off here soon. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna just check and see before she closes to see if she has a painkiller. I don't remember if I have one myself. She's got one, 240 Dukes. Thanks I'll just business. take it right now. Thank we'll you. All right, <laughs> let's go home and start doing some digging. Alrighty then. Home sweet home. Gotta get cooking here. I'm freaking about to die of dehydration. Okay, I have enough resources now to make my third and final single clothing pocket mod, and hopefully we'll get the needle and thread volume seven soon. And I can make myself a level four axe now to replace my level three. And unfortunately, in terms of uh, water, I have not been doing very well on that front. We are struggling a little bit on the murky water. I mean, it's not like we're uh, we're dying or anything. I could go buy some easily if I wanted to. But uh, makes me kind of think that probably the dew collectors should be something we look into soon. And I just would have to keep it, you know, topside somewhere. Somewhere that I frequent to uh, pick up the water out of it. So water filter is going to be about 1,500 dukes. Polymer, we've got the tape and the pipes. How about that polymer, though? Yeah, we're looking good there. We can get that tomorrow morning, I think. And the dew collector produces about three clean water per day. So as I was looking at the recipes here, I noticed that, yes, I can do the black shop coffee. I got the mining book for that. So we need coffee beans and gunpowder, and I could make one of those. And I've got the goldenrod to make some goldenrod tea, which I think is going to give me slightly more hydration than just water alone. So I'll make that as well. And in the meantime, I got to get to work here on digging. I think first and foremost, I'd like to widen out our like regular crafting area down down here, make some room for more storages and forges in the near future. Okay, and for my next little project, I'm gonna just hollow out a little, we'll call it like a safe room here in the like the back portion of the base. And eventually this whole bottom area here will be converted into like a big zombie container. And then we'll build our base and our fighting area kind of up elevated and um, you know, further away from the center. The center, this is just where the zombies are gonna drop down. Now we just need to set up something that will turn into like a fighting position here. So I'm just gonna, for now, uh, this is definitely not gonna be the, the end game situation here, but I'm gonna just put some blocks up like this so that there's a nice solid structure above us. And um, I'll probably have to knock out these couple of things right here to put in a pillar on the side. There you go. It's a good little panic room for us now. Okay, so basically if the zombies come down here, I'm gonna leave the ladder in probably up to, and including Horde Knight and just have them come down here nice and naturally. And then um, I'll just probably hide over here and we'll kill the zombies and hope that they don't thrash around too much. They shouldn't because they're not going to be falling down here, so there's going to be no reason for them to go over and destroy our stuff. I probably will get our storages at least, though, put up on the wall above zombie head height. Okay, I do have a painkiller. Just take inventory of what we have here. We need antibiotics for sure. A couple extra first aid bandages. Okay, that's all I need. We just got to head over to Jen's. Well, what we'll do is we'll do the quest. Uh, then we'll head to Jen's. We'll get the water filter. We'll have the bicycle by then. And, um, yeah, we should be good to go by then. Alternatively, though, okay, yeah, I was gonna say we could craft the bicycle ourselves, but look at that, we're gonna need stuff that we don't have in a workbench that we also don't have. Okay, I'll meet you over at the quest then.
All right, I finally made it to this godforsaken passing gas. I took a huge beating on my way over here. I did kill a bunch of zombies. I got a bunch of loot and I've been harvesting up a whole bunch of aloe leaves. But man, <laughs> it ain't easy around here. Just got the sneak attack on that guy. Good. Okay, let's go through the loot for a second because I got a ton of it. So I've got uh, magazines here, electrical traps, wiring, tech junkie, robotic morale booster, scrap that, drink this. I stepped on a campfire and caught on fire slightly, that's okay. All kinds of parts, pumpkins, dog food, nah, just like that, my inventory is pretty much completely full. I haven't even started here. Oh, and this is the one with the underground portion, great. Anything worth double looting here? Not particularly, we could double loot the ATM. I've got some lockpicks, might as well try. Yep, let's do that. Hey, it worked. How much do we get? Ooh, a thousand bucks. Nice, worth 1,400 dukes. That'll pay for the water filter. Okay then, let's try that again. Oh, oh, the quest is over here. Right, well, heading back around front. Oh crap, <laughs> no luck that time. No thanks. Just gotta be cautious about the zombies that kind of fall out of the ceiling that at least used to. And hopefully be able to get some food and drink out of here. At least murky water would be nice. There's one, there's two. And two more, nice. There's another one. Yeah, I think we've just been in kind of the wrong spot to loot that kind of stuff. I've been mostly going to like houses. A few dukes and dollars out of there. I gotta stop looting. I still gotta friggin' raid this place, but I can't help it. I'm just, I'm a loot goblin, just like you are. Oh, there we go. Workstation crafting skill. That'll allow us to craft the forge, I think. Tools digest, scrapping for fun. Tools Digest Electrical Traps. Okay, yep, I can see him up there. I can see him on the compass as well. Uh, but as far as getting a headshot, it's gonna be a tough one. Oh, got it. Somebody's moving too. Did I wake somebody up? Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, do we have wandering sleepers or what? Can't wait until they implement that. That'll be nice. Basically, there would just be like quest zombies, but they'd be lurking around, kind of patrolling the area inside the POI. Another big storm is rolling in, so pretty soon here, I'm going to uh, implement my own mod to adjust the weather because I just don't think it should rain every single day like it does in vanilla. But uh, currently, with it being the streamer weekend, you're technically not allowed to mod. And um, so, you know, I'll get around to that eventually anyway. I'll also probably be modding the... Um, wandering hordes to make them a little bit bigger and more difficult eventually. And who knows, might also adjust some of the horde night zombies as well. Handy land. Okay, all that's left to do now is head downstairs. Oh, and I also leveled up on the way here, so I now have two skill points to spend. Let's go, I think flat strength is what I want to do. Yeah, because I want, um, I want to be able to get Skull Crusher level three, mostly just for the stamina benefit that that'll give me. Oh, hey, little destroyed workbench here. Ah, uh, no luck. Oh, actually, yeah, you're not gonna get the schematic out of that anymore, are you? No, sir, there is no workstation schematic anymore. All right, seal me in here, and we can check out the new vault doors, which I love. I think they're, they're basically the same, aren't they? They just look, they have a slightly different, like, appearance to them, but in terms of, like, shape, it's exactly the same. All right, I know what this is. This is a trap. I am so sorry, but I've gotta do it. Got a big boy in here, too. Just me and you, buddy. Show me what you got. And got the knockdown. Boom! And that's not it, though. There's... No, that, that is it. I thought for sure that there was gonna be a dog back here or something. Well, I'll take it. All right, what do we get here? Hopefully not a whole lot of stuff that's gonna weigh me down. Give me stackable items, please. What's in the main chest first? Fortifying grip mod, not too bad. And some bandages, that's pretty good. And in the working stiff tools box, tools digest. Man, we're getting all kinds of tools. Look at that. We can do the quality fives now. A new lock pick, forged iron. The alcohol or li liquor pile, I guess it's called. Those are always filled with murky water. And some bullets. Are we good here or what? Pretty much. Oh, I do kind of want those chrysanthemums so I can make some red tea later. And microwave murky water. Eat the chili and let's head back to Jen's. All right, Jenny, well, what do you got for take me? One. Take the crafting bundle again. And for the reward here, gotta go bicycle, right? Cause it's just too easy to buy the water filter. And as for the rest of that, it's just junk. So I'll take the bike and special jobs to the south the to Trader Hugh. This is dangerous it's good to know what I trader is handle. where because certain traders have a disposition to sell certain magazines so if you're really trying to unlock something you might need to make a you know a trade around to that person and try to buy them up right this is our first trader restock day so good to have a look here i'll take the three waters just for now may i see your inventory where is your water filter i just need one of those please Thanks for the business. and then i should be able to craft the 
do collector oh i did i scrap all my pipes i scrapped all my pipes dang <laughs> whatever all right let's head home we'll do it over there oh look it's raining again well at the very least we got our bicycle today okay back at base do collector craft now we got to work on the forge see if i can get that crafted too oh hey airdrop coming in to the north got it okay i got the workstations we're gonna have to make some room for them though and while that's going we got some cooking magazines some scrapping oh there we go grilled meat and red tea scrapping for fun magazines and southern farming there we go forge down the first thing we really need is a wrench although i'm not going to have enough mechanical parts to make a quality four we'll just have to start off with a really basic wrench get some basic materials like mechanical parts and circle back around and make a higher quality one later on as for the dew collector the dew collector can just hang out over here i don't think the zombies are going to bother it at all if i just plop it down right there and we're we're in and out of here all the time so we'll just pick them up as we go along three a day honestly i should have just bought like another one because i think once you get like two or three you'll really you'll never need i mean it's you don't even need one but um I, if you know you'll never need more than two or three i'll put it that way okay that should do it what can we do here we can do just do a level one okay we'll get a crappy old level one wrench all right that will do it now that we have the bicycle we can do a little bit of exploration in town see if we can maybe, maybe find like a working stiff tool shop or there's a savage country nearby, but it's a tier four, so I don't know about that. Well, anyway, we've got a whole city to explore. Oh, let's go get the airdrop then. We'll get the airdrop. Let's also go over to the bee place and uh, get the honey out of that place, or, you know, the potential honey. All right, just rolled up on the airdrop here. And, oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, that's super frustrating. <laughs> it's okay. Got a forge ahead book there. Some baked potatoes, juice, and crafting skill magazine bundle for scrapping for fun, farming, and get hammered, sledgehammers. Let's see what that gets me up to. That might get me, yeah, iron sledgehammer quality one. We're finally there. Might not be worth crafting that. I think the quality five stone sledge would be better still for now. In fact, let's get enough material together so I can craft one of those. That should do it. And I also got the level five stone axe. And I just leveled up by crafting it. We can do skull crusher even better with sledgehammers and less stamina use. And we get, now we get stamina back if we get a killing blow. Grants 10 stamina back. Okay, what are we doing now? Let's, uh, let's go straight to the east. This is the spot. What's it called? Sweet, sweet honeypot farms. Yeah, let's test this out, see how it goes. Very well. All right, too bad this is not a quest. What is this, a bowling ball? Interesting. Oh, it's a basketball. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, there should be at least uh, five or 10 stumps here. Hopefully we'll get a honey or two out of them. 20% chance, so. Check the mail, range of book, bar rolling book. You know what? I don't know. I feel like I should be reading pretty much everything. Try to complete as many series as we can. And tractors are kind of just like cars, I think. Man, that takes forever to wrench down. I don't know about all that. We're going to need the mechanical parts from something. All right, let's get in here. We've already looted this room here. Oh, and the zombies broke out of the closet, but they didn't make it over to us. We didn't get to kill them. Sit your ass down, Bob. Just take that stuff up. A little bit of a light dinner. That's not how I wanted to kill this zombie. That's better. All right. Hello? All right. Killer Joe there. I like that's a good name for him. <laughs> it's a little bit, a little bit sarcastic, a little bit ironic. Oh, did I just notice that if you walk into a goo pile or a body, it slows your, your movement down? Huh. Hadn't noticed that before. Get hammered book again. A couple of wiring books, armor book. Oh, finally, a pair of good pants. So far, we haven't struggled at all with the heat. So apparently, I'm, it's the duster, I think, that I'm wearing that's doing that for me. But yeah, we're doing pretty well on that front. Whoa, that yeah, geez. It jumped me there a little bit. Burn! Sledgehammer's working really good now. Cooking magazine, that was good for boiled meat and yucca juice. All right, this is what we came for back here though, right? Okay, definitely zombies in there, always is. Let's just get a little bit of a present ready for them. Take that. Too easy. Take 
There we go. Got lucky on that one. out of that one and this is it here gotta clear out the inventory a little bit for this scratch that there's really nothing i can do i want all of that stuff all right is there always just a bow down here is it still you bow oh this is different i don't like different whoa that's a big chunk of fence man i thought that was just gonna be one little square there okay well certainly there's somebody da oh in the closet back there i bet right yep just don't step on that garbage and you should be able to get the drop on him killer joe got any friends back there just you. Holy crap. Yep, totally stuck back here. Not good, not good. Ah. Got him. Shotgun side book. Shotguns do 10% more damage. That's great for us. Okay, I do declare that this place has also been thicked. But with the hours left in daylight, I'm gonna thick it even a little bit more and see if I can um, harvest up some materials out of here. Oop, I've missed a few things as well. So good thing I went back here. Sniper book. Okay, but I've been interrupted by what I thought might be a wandering horde. Might just have to call it and get out of here. Take the corn home with me, I guess, before I leave. Yep, got a biker there and he's gonna turn into a runner here and like five seconds so let's get out of here all right that will just about do it let's head home holy crap finally made it back home it's a freaking dark dreary night i did loot up along the way and I've, I've just filled up and got a couple of extra parts like some shotgun parts and some sledge parts which should come in handy at some point grab the rest of this stuff out of the bike and we'll check on the duke collector and see what that's done so far one water one and a half i guess okay home sweet home so for the rest of the night i'm just going to do some cooking and crafting and smelting and forging and burning and whatever else i can do to get this place ship shape and ready for a horde that is fast approaching but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night hey everyone i just wanted to say thank you for watching for leaving a like but most of all thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.